Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Crossman to really lock down anyone that runs a lot of trips tied in. And we're gonna be showing you this concept out of the DB Fire 2 and the Dollar 3 2 formation. The Dollar 3 2 formation can be found in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. If you guys wanna get my entire Dollar 3 2 defensive ebook, all you gotta do is join the Patreon. The link's gonna be in the description. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my full offensive and defensive ebooks. We've dropped over 15 different schemes this year. So if you really wanna take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to check that out. Again, it's only $10 to sign up, and it will get you immediate and instant access to all of the stuff that I've done throughout the season, as well as all of the updates and any new stuff that I'll be dropping. Um, and we pretty much drop new stuff all the time, uh, almost every single day in the Patreon. So if you want to sign up, the link's in the description. We're going to be talking today about dollar three two and a Crossman setup. You might ask, like, why Crossman? What's the purpose of Crossman? Crossman does a really, really good job at defending crossing routes, um, at really defending uh, what I would say in general as a deeper deeper route stems, which is what Trips Tight End does the best. So we're going to show you this at a dollar uh, DB Fire 2. Now, the only caveat or the only the key to this is I really like to run this defense on man line but what I like to do typically is we'll come out in default and then you don't have to come out in default but I just want to show you so if you come out in default this is what your defense looks like if I were to hit triangle r1 it's going to put this the cornerback the outside corner on the tight end side he's going to go to the left side now really quick I just want to show you what happens when they motion different players? It is kind of important to go over this. So if you look here, if I motion the inside trips receiver, then that guy is going to follow. And now this would be basically how the defense would align against a two-by-two two spread set. And so we have the symmetry that is so valuable uh, in a dollar defensive set. If you take a look here, if I motion this guy, you see the same player travels. This is very, very important and very significant because this allows us to kind of have some congruency with our defensive setups. And then the, the last uh, player that I want to show is if you see here, if this outside guy goes, please notice how the outside cornerback is going to travel with him. So you're, you're going to have symmetry in the fact that the same player is always going to travel across the formation. With that in mind, we're going to turn our auto alignment to man, and we're going to get into my favorite defense for trips. So here's what the defense looks like pre-snap. Um, as you can see here, we have um, a lot of resources to the left-hand side, which is very valuable because trip side in. There's two reasons why this is valuable. Number one, you they have the most amount of receiving threats to the left side of the screen, but number two, they have the best pass protection to the right side of the screen. On the right side of the screen, they have the running back, and they have their tight end. So when you blitz trips tight end, it's really helpful to blitz it off of the left. So what we can do is we can take this R1 corner and we can actually send him off the left-hand side and then we could drop this guy in coverage. And I just want to show you what this five-man pressure looks like at a dollar. What you'll see is they will have to block a running back in order to pick this up. So just kind of a little bit of a, a key here. Now, another cool part about this is if we wanted to send the linebacker as well, we could actually overload that side and keep fairly decent coverage integrity. If you look here, I uh, actually need to take this package off. I apologize. I forgot I had this on the, the free safety uh, sub package. Let me take that off. And so we'll show you this real quick, and then we'll talk about the coverage aspect. So if we set up a defense that looks kind of like this right here, you're going to see basically what are we trying to do? We're trying to overload the left side, which is where the formation has the most vulnerability. So you see right here, we overload the left side, even though they blocked the running back, we're able to get pressure because that side of the formation is inherently weak in pass protection, okay? So all that to say, um, how are we gonna utilize cross man out of this? So what I like to do in terms of utilizing cross man is we can do a couple different really cool things. One of, the most, uh, one of the most effective ways to cross man against a trips formation is essentially to do what I'm going to show you right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to put the outside trips corner. He's going to be in an outside third. And the reason he's going to be in an outside third is because most of the time that solo wide receiver from the trips is not going to be on anything in breaking. He's typically going to be on a clear out route. 
Now, if we wanted to, another a, a, another really cool adjustment we could do would be this right here, where we take this safety and we actually cross man him on the outside trips receiver. We're going to take this slot that's blitzing and we're going to man him up on the middle trips receiver, which is super important. It's really the one player we're not technically cross manning because none of his routes really crucify man coverage as long as you back him off. Okay, and then um, on the on the and then the last thing that we're doing here is we're going to take the linebacker, crossman him on the tight end. We're going to crossman the safety on the tight end side onto the um, on the tight end side onto the inside trips receiver. And then we're just going to blitz this corner. So we're sitting five. So you see here, this is what the defense looks like. And then basically we're just going to use her the running back. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ways to defend trips. Okay, because everything is crossman. And it's going to be very confusing post-snap, and we're sending a lot of pressure. So one of the most popular trips combos this year is basically this right here. So we're going to use her this streak off rip, kind of bump it, work back to the post. And as you see, because we have inside leverage within our cross manning, it allows us to play the best routes in the formation. The best routes from trips tied in this year are these kind of like crossing style routes. So another tactic that I like to use, and I did want to show this in this uh, breakdown of the cross man, is we're going to cross man everybody. So we're going to do our cross man just like we just showed you. Same exact adjustments here. Now we have this left side uh, cornerback that if they motion or whatever, he's going to go to the right side of the screen, right? All we're going to do is we are just going to move him slightly, and now he won't go across the formation. So let's say they motion... Um, just for example here, let's say the motion circle. See how we still have formational integrity here, and we're still able to play anything. The cross man defense really stays intact, even, even in this situation. And again, we're sending five, so they're going to have to respect our pressure. And as you can see, nothing really is going to get open on the in-breaking side of things. Another little key tip that I like to tell people when you're running this defense is if you are, let's say, for example, that you are maybe doing your adjustments like this. This is not a bad set of adjustments either, uh, because now we can kind of use the safety into different things if we wanted to do that. Um, but another thing that you could do here is when you have set up your adjustments, let's say we just want to send four in this example. When, once you have set up your adjustments, shade your coverage inside and over top. What this is going to do is it's going to really, it's going to turn that cloud flat over there. So one of the primary man beating concepts people like to run is this slant post concept, right? Well, because we've got inside over top leverage, watch this linebacker. A lot of times he'll cut that tight end post. And then he's also running that tight end post into a cloud flat defender that is going to be able to play it because we shade it over top. It's no longer a soft squad. It turns it into a cloud flat. So this is just one of the, I think, just one of the best all-time adjustments. Now, one last one I saved for the end is really glitchy. What you're going to do is instead of coming out in your defense man aligned from the start, you're actually going to man align it after you make really, I think, one of the best adjustments against trips. So if they're running a lot of slant posts to the tight end, you're going to come out in your defense. It's going to look like this. What you're going to do is you're going to man up that corner that is in the soft squat. So we pinch our D-line. The corner in the soft squat, we're going to man him up to the tight end, and then we are going to man line and press. And what you're going to see is he's going to go to the left side of the screen, but he's still manned up to the tight end. So now we have the tight end handled to the to the on the tight end post, right? But we do need help maybe for like if he runs a corner route or something like that. So what I like to do is then take this blitzing um, linebacker and put him in an outside third or an outside quarter. I really like the ex outside quarter actually. And then from there, we're now going to get back into our standard cross manning principles. So we're going to go with a man up from the safety onto the inside trips receiver. We're actually going to go with a man up um, from the the triangle, uh, the left side safety onto the number two trips receiver. And then what I like to do, because we don't really need that cloud flat anymore, is we'll drop this L1 player, this slot on the right, into a curl flat, and we'll drop an outside third on the outside. The reason for this adjustment sequence is it's going to do a really good job at defending slant posts specifically to the tight end so you can easily just kind of sit on this slant and you'll see right here this is just going to be an absolute cage 
see how that cross man right into the, the yellow zone, the deep third, all those things are going to be able to take that away. Now, will he be able to defend that perfectly in man coverage every single time? Maybe not. But in general, guys, um, this is a really, really good way to defend trips tight end. And it, it really centers around the fact that we're able to, you know, in this example, we're actually going to only send three, but there's not a whole lot they're going to be able to do against this coverage defense because of the fact that we're able to uh, really utilize our resources here as you can see. So love this defense against trips. The cross man principle is super valuable and you can really do this out of almost any defense. I think it is really good at a dollar. Uh, most people don't realize, you know, that in dollar, you know, they're just the value of these, uh, of even just the simpleness, the simplicity of just cross manning like this right here. Very, very simple, but man, this is so good. Um, this is such a good adjustment for trips tied in, and it makes it hard for these cross routes because you're out leveraging them as they come across the formation. And with your user here to kind of help with the tight end, it really takes away a lot that dollar that trips can offer. That's the cross man defense, or at least one variation, and really a couple different adjustments off of it. Really like this defense for trips. I think that the first one I showed you is really probably the best bang for your buck because you can send five out of this right here and be in pretty decent shape if they you know throw like a tight end uh like y post for example if they go to this you just take the running back watch that linebacker just cut that and take that completely away we'll end on that thanks for watching the video if you want to check out my patreon get access to all my full offensive and defensive ebooks and really take your matting game to the next level you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below